Hi boys and girls and welcome to this week's Flip Learning for Maths. This week we're going to be looking at how to solve missing number addition and subtraction sentences. Before you start this video you're going to need a number line, hundred square, a pen and some paper. It would also be a really great idea to watch our previous videos on simple addition and subtraction and how to use a number line and hundred square to count forwards and backwards. Let's get started. Here we have an addition number sentence. 13 plus, oh, there's a number missing. We don't know how many we add to 13 to get our total of 19. Let me show you how we can figure out the missing number in our addition sentence. Firstly, we know that we are counting forwards because I can see a plus sign. I know that I am adding. I have 13. Let's start at 13 on my number line. I find it easy to draw a circle around the number so I don't forget where it is. 13 plus something equals 19. My total is 19. That is where I'm going to stop on my number line. So I'm going to draw another circle around it. When I know where I'm going to start, 13, and where I'm going to stop, my total, 19, then I can start counting forwards on my number line. Can you help me? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have jumped a total of six numbers from 13 to 19. This must mean that my missing number is six. 13 plus six equals 19. Let's try another one. Can you read the number sentence with me? Eight plus something equals 25. We know that we are counting forwards because I can see my addition sign. I'm going to start on eight because this is the number I already know. I know that my total is 25. So I'm going to draw a circle around 25 because I know that that is my total. That is where I'm going to stop on the number line. Let's see how many jumps I make. Can you help me do some careful counting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Well done. Eight plus seventeen equals twenty-five. Thanks for your help. You're getting so good at using a number line. Let's see if we can solve the same missing number sentence, but this time using a hundred square. First, I'm going to find eight on my hundred square and draw a circle because I know that's where I'm going to start. I also know that my total is 25. So I'm going to draw another circle around 25 because that is where I'm going to stop. Now remember, when we're counting on the hundred square, we count in the same direction as the number line, but when we get to the end of a row, we need to go down and back to the start of the next row. Make sure you count this as a jump too, or else your counting will be out by one or two. Let's do it together. One, two. I'm going to go down and back to the start of the next row. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to go down and back to the start of the next row. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eight plus seventeen equals twenty-five. 
That's the same as we got on the number line. Well done. You are fantastic. Now let's see if we can try another one together. Something plus 32 equals 47. What number do you think we're going to start on on 100 square? You're right. 32. Let's find it. 10, 20, 32. Here's 32. What number am I going to stop on my 100 square? Well done. We're going to stop on 47 because that is our total. Let's see if we can do careful counting to see what number we add to 32 to get a total of 47. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I got 15, did you? Well done. Now you can try these at home yourself. Pause the video and use your number line or hundred square to figure out these missing number addition sentences. If you get a little confused, rewind the video so I can explain it to you again. When you are finished, start the video and we will answer them together. Good luck. If you're ready to check your answers, keep watching. I filled in the answers in blue. Pause the video and double check that you've gotten the correct answer too. If you haven't, go back to your hundred square and try again. Now let's try some missing number subtraction sentences. Can you read the number sentence with me? 18 take away something equals seven. I can see a takeaway sign a subtraction sign. So I know that I am going to be counting backwards on my number line. I am going to start at 18 because I know that I had 18 to begin with. Then I took some away and I was left with a total of seven. Seven is my total so I'm going to draw a circle around it too. Now because I am taking away I'm going to start on the bigger number and count backwards. Can you help me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eighteen take away eleven equals seven. Thanks for your help. Let's try another one. Ooh, in fact. Let's try the same number sentence on the hundred square. Remember, we count backwards in the same direction as a number line, but when we get to the end of the row, we must go up and back to the end. Let's try it. We're going to start on 18 because that was the number we had to begin with. We know that after we took some away, our total was seven, so that's where we're going to count back to. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, I go back up to the next row and back to the end. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eighteen, take away eleven equals seven. Well done for helping me do careful counting on the hundred square. Now let's try this one. Can you read the number sentence with me? 23 take away something equals 19. Do you know what number we're going to start on? Well done, it's 23 because I know at the beginning that I had 23. But then I took some away and my total was 19. Let's draw a circle around 19 as well. Now I need to do careful counting to see how many I took away from 23 to leave me a total of 19. Let's do it together. One, two, remember I go up and back to the end, three, four. 
23 take away 4 equals 19. Well done. You are a super subtractor. Give yourself a marshmallow clap. Super work. Now let's try another slightly trickier example. I had a number and I took 13 away from it and I had 15 left over. Now, I know my total is 15 and I know that the number I had in the beginning was 13 more than 15. So this one's a little bit more confusing because I'm going to start on 15 and I'm going to jump forwards 13 to find the number that I started with. Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I've landed on twenty-eight. Twenty-eight take away thirteen equals fifteen. Now that one was a lot trickier and we really had to think about it. So let's try another one together. Something take away 21 is equal to 8. So I had a number of a bigger number and I took 21 away from it and I was left with 8. So I can start on 8 and I can give those 21 back to find how many I had to begin with. That's right, we need to count forwards 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. My answer is 29. 29 take away 21 equals 8. Well done. Now pause the video and see if you can complete these by yourself. If you get a bit confused, replay the video and try again. Good luck! How did you get on? Did you notice that I added in an addition number sentence just to try and trick you? Remember, you should always look and see what sign you can see in the number sentence so that you know if you're supposed to be counting forwards or backwards. Well done on your hard work though. Now we're going to try some next steps and try some trickier number sentences. These number sentences involve three numbers. We have 14 plus something plus 5 equals a total of 25. This means that these three numbers together equals 25. We know that we have 14, so let's start there. We also know that we have to add 5, so let's add 5 to 14 to find our first total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 14 plus 5 is equal to 19. But we're not finished yet because we know that our total is 25. So we still need to find this missing number. How many more jumps do we have to make between 19 to get a total of 25? Let's do it together. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, six, 14 plus six plus five equals 25. Now let's try a subtraction number sentence. 32 take away six, take away something equals 18. So we know that we start on 32 and first we must take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six, then we know our total is 18, so how many more jumps? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 32, take away 6, take away 8 equals 18. Now it's your turn to try some trickier number of sentences at home. Pause the video and see how you get on. 
If you need some help, rewind the video or ask an adult at home. Good luck and I'll see you next time.